Welcome everyone. This is an intermediate reformer core focus 15 minute workout. For this workout, you're gonna need a reformer, of course, and a reformer box, and we're gonna be using a fitness circle for part of it, so go grab those if you've got them. And if you like the workout, please hit the like button, and also subscribe to us if you wanna see, and get notified of all of our workouts. Let's begin, we're gonna start right in with some ab work. I'm using one heavy spring. I recommend anywhere from one heavy to two heavy springs for this first series, which is sometimes referred to as the mid-back series, but it's a really great ab series. I'm gonna grab a strap in each hand. I'm down on the carriage and I can either be in neutral, which means I got a little space between my lower back and the carriage, or I can tip my pelvis back and go into what we call an imprint. Now from here, I'm gonna breathe in, and then as I exhale, I'm gonna extend the elbows and come up into kind of the 100 start position, and then lower back down. Let's do that again. Exhale and flex up, coming right into that start position and lower down with control. As I come up, I exhale, my eye level drops down the horizon, and as I lower back, my head goes all the way back down. And I exhale to come up, and I inhale to lower back down. And again, I'm straining the arms, but I'm really using my abs to do most of the work to get that carriage out there. I'm flexing up and sliding my ribs toward my hips. And two more times, exhaling up, Inhale back down and this time we're gonna stay up right here and we're gonna lift the arms up and pull them down for six. Inhale up nice and slow and lower them down. Now as your arms go up, your torso should not drop back. So you're gonna feel more and more work on the abs. And let's do three more. Breathe in through the nose. Exhale as you pull down. Two more, breathe in. Now like you're blowing through a straw, pull down. One more, breathe in and pull down. Now, lower down as your arms go out to the sides. From here, inhale, exhale, come up, release the arms a little bit and pulse them back in for three. Keeping your upper body lifted, two and one, and lower back down. Let's do that again. Exhale, come up, bring the hands toward the hips, then open them out, pulling in, three and two and one, and lower back down. Let's do that again. Exhale, coming up, open the arms and pull three, and two, and one. Lower back down one more time. Exhale, curl up, release the arms, pull three, and two, and one, and lower down. Put your feet down. Now, come on off the carriage, and you can put those straps um, where you can grab them quickly. We're gonna grab our box now, and put it on the long box position. So, take it, put it in front of the shoulder rest, and then you're gonna come right on top, face down, your rib cage is on, but the chest is off, and you're gonna take those ropes to the outside. Sorry about that, Rocco, I think I, they're gonna be in your way. So you flex over the box, you pull back, as you pull back, extend the spine, and then release forward. Do that again. Inhale as you pull back and lift, exhale forward. This should happen from the upper back primarily, but you're gonna get some lower back muscle engagement as well, and of course, rear delts, and triceps, and now hold it up there. And then release the arms, and pull for five. And exhale, four, and three, and two. Keep the legs tight, and one, and lower down. Now, reach the arms out to the sides. So you're parallel, airplane. Flex over the box to start. As you pull your arms back, lengthen through the spine, forward and up. Don't just crunch backward with your spine. Really lengthen here. Hands to your hips, and back down. And do that again. Pulling up three, and lowering back down. Slide those shoulder blades toward each other as you come up, and back down. One more time. We're gonna stay up here, release a little bit, and you're gonna pulse five, and pull it in four, and abs in three, and two, and one, and release all the way down. Probably found a lot of tricep in there, that's a good thing. Now we're gonna go to short box and we're gonna turn this box sideways. Put it over, or however it fits on your reformer, and grab your fitness circle, add at least one more heavy spring so that carriage isn't gonna move, and then make sure that your foot strap is taut. Put your feet in there, hook them, 
Make sure you're sitting on the box with a little bit of room behind you and you can bend your knees to pull your Achilles against the edge of the carriage. Breathing in to start, exhale, sink back, tuck your tailbone under, pull the abs in, press into that circle. Now pull against the inside of the circle to come back up. Exhale, press backward. Inhale, pull back up. And exhale, flex back. And inhale, come back up. And again, exhale, pressing into it, flex back. Now lengthen the spine as you get back up on your sit bones. And again, flex back. Coming all the way back up. Three more, flex back, go down, live dangerously, go a little further. Come back up. Two more, exhale, flex, sinking down. Inhale, back in. One more, down. And come back in. Now, just raise the arms above you. Keeping the arms long, hinge back instead of flexing back. Hinge back, feel that work on the abs, and come back up. As you hinge back, pull out on that circle, and come back up. Again, hinge back, don't arch your back, just go back as far as you can with the straight spine, and come back up. Two more. Inhale, exhale back up, one more. Inhale to hinge, and exhale up. All right, lean. Start with the circle in front of your chest, rotate, reach up, pull. Pull down with that bottom hand, and lean out. Come back up on the diagonal, and come back to center. Make sure your feet are hooked. Inhale, turn, and rotate. Exhale, I guess that's the same thing, turning and rotating. Lean out, come back up, and come back to the center. Rotate and lift the arms. Lean out, pulling down with that bottom hand. Pull, pull, pull. Come all the way back up, and then come back to center. Again, rotate and lift. Now lean out, stretch over. Come all the way back up and back to center. Let's do that again. Breathe in. Exhale, lean out. Come back up and back to center. One more time. Rotate, lean out. Come back up. Feel those obliques kick in and back to center. All right, from there, we're gonna come off. You're gonna take the box and put it away. We're gonna go into our long stretch now. So. Bring your headrest up, bring your foot bar up, go to one heavy, anywhere from one heavy to two heavy, I'm going one heavy, one light. Hug the bar with your hands, step your feet into the crease between the headrest and the carriage, and really tighten everything up. Inner thighs, glutes, abs, hug the bar, don't lock your elbows. Reaching back, breathe in, exhale, Shoulders come right over hands. Inhale, push back as far as you can stabilize. Exhale to come back in. One long line from your head to your heels. Push back and come all the way back up. Again, press back and come forward. Three more. Inhale, exhale forward. Don't let your shoulders go up into your ears. Two more. Reach back and pull up, here we go, live dangerously. Go for it, reach, 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 and come back up. Now, carefully bring the knees down, and sit back toward your heels, flexing your spine. Hands on the bar, elbows angled down, lengthen the spine into the down stretch, then push the legs back. Then send, come up toward the ceiling with your sternum, keep the shape and go back. Uh, again, and three times. Inhale as you go back, and exhale, drive everything back under. Exhale, the spine lengthens. Inhale, the legs lengthen. Exhale, you hinge up three, and back, and pull up two, and back, and pull up one, and back, and curl right under. One more time. Lengthen the spine, and then the legs, and pull up three, and back, and two, and back, and one, and come all the way back in. Now, same spring if you want, come up into standing on the reformer high half toe position, up stretch. From here, shoulders out of the ears, push back with the legs. When you can't push any further back without changing the spine, lengthen the spine. Come into the dark position, hinge forward, 
like in the long stretch, and then once your shoulders are above your hands, flex back over your legs. Press the legs back, breathing in, breathing in, breathing in, breathing in, exhaling all the way forward, and back to the start. Inhale, out, and lengthen. Exhale, return, and flex back. Glutes engage as the legs go out. Then all of the abdominals engage as you lengthen everything. Then hinge forward and flex back over. Let's do one more. Legs, lengthen through the spine. Hinge forward and flex back to the start. Be careful stepping down and you can lower down your foot bar and go down to one heavy and you're gonna have a seat on the carriage here. And for this one, I prefer to have my legs on the outsides of the shoulder rest. But if you wanna do the traditional way, they're within the shoulder rest. I'm gonna hold a strap in each hand. I like to hug my legs against the shoulder rest and we're gonna roll down with obliques. So breathe in, make sure you've got some room behind you here. Exhale, roll back. Then open your arms to the sides and reach. Come back to the center. Open your arms, one goes slightly up, one goes slightly down, come back to the center. Flex over and stack the spine back up. Again, exhale, roll down, scoop through the belly. Now turn from the waistline and let the arms lead after that. So they continue that line after you already rotate. Back to the center, over and up. Now let go of one strap, just hold on to one. Don't let your hands touch. Roll down, scoop through the belly. Once you're down there, hang on to your hip. From here, punch across, try to move that carriage out further. Squeeze your legs against the shoulder rest, two. Exhale, rotate, punch, three. Go for it again, four, and press, five, and exhale, six, and again, seven, and one more time, a good press, eight. Now bring your hands next to each other, come forward, and stack up. Let's switch to the other side. Grab that step, strap, sitting tall, breathe in, exhale, flex and roll back. Grab onto the hip, punch back a little bit, one, Try to move that carriage out, two. Use your exhale, three. Use your legs against the shoulder rest to stabilize your hips, four. And five, three more, exhale, six. And exhale, seven, all the way, and one more. Rotate back to center, flex over, and stack the spine up. We're just gonna turn now to face the side, and fold your legs in front of you. Grab the back strap. Hold it in that hand, lace the other hand around it, turn your sternum toward that side. Exhale, rotate. Inhale, return. Pulling with your obliques. And come back, and again, exhaling to rotate. And come back. And turn, sitting tall. And back. Rotate. And two more. And one more time, pulling from here, right from those obliques and come back. Now spin around. Let's do that on the same, on the other side. Same exercise, so turn right around, spin around. Grab that back strap. Hold on to it with the hand closest to it, lace the other hand around. Arms in a circle, rotate, and come back. Exhale, two, inhale, return. Pull around, and come back. Let's do that again, rotate, and around, three more. And back, two more times, and back. And one more time, rotate, and back. Beautiful, return the carriage. Now, you're gonna bring your foot bar up. We're gonna get a little lateral flexion here to finish off. So mermaid, you're gonna turn your legs back toward the shoulder rest here, sit tall. Reach up and then just flex over. Come on back up and return. Now let's go to the other side, reaching over, and come up and return. Do that again, breathe in. Exhale, press over, come on up and return. And reach up, and back, and one more. Right over, and up, and to the other side, reach, and back. Let's turn around and do that same thing on the other side. From here, lift the arm, breathe in, exhale, flex over, Come on up and back. Reach the other side up and over. And guys, remember, if you liked this, please hit the like button below. And we would love it if you subscribe to us. Reach up 
and over. And one more time. Reach up, press over, and to the other side, reach over and back. And that was your Intermediate Reformer Core Focus Workout. Thanks for joining me. It was 15 minutes, and I hope you got a lot out of it. I'll see you in our next workout. Bye, everybody.